The ability to ask great questions as an engineer is one of the keys to being a successful leader. And in this week's engineering management lessons video, I'm going to give you some tips for asking questions in a way that you can get information that can help you succeed. This is a great topic and it came to me because one of our viewers posed the following question. From listening to engineers I admire and aspire to be like, I have noticed they ask effective questions. Many times their questions are ones I never would have thought to ask. I'm sure experience helps with question asking and I'm still relatively new in the industry, but I would love to hear your advice on this topic. So that in itself is a great question and let's tackle it here. I agree with our viewer. If you ask effective questions, you're going to get that information that you need, but it's all about the delivery. And this is a strategy that I picked up when I went to executive coaching school, which is asking thoughtful, open-ended questions. What are open-ended questions? Open-ended questions are questions that cannot be answered with the word yes or no. When we ask someone a simple question and they can simply say yes or no, that's exactly what they're going to do, especially an engineer or technical professional, because we don't necessarily want to go into details if we don't have to. We like to take the easy way, yes or no. So when you're asking for advice, go open-ended. Here's an example. Let's say that you're considering a credential or a license in your career. You might go to your supervisor and say, Anthony, I'm thinking about pursuing XYZ license. Do you think that's a good idea? He or she may say yes or no. Or you might phrase the question a little bit differently. Anthony, I'm thinking of going for XYZ license because I want to get to this point in my career. Do you think that's a good approach or do you know of any other licenses, certifications, or a different approach that might be better? Think about the difference in the information that you're going to get when you phrase the question differently. It can mean all the difference. And you can start to think about, I mean, that's just one example of a credential. But you could think about using questions for building project teams, whether or not to go for a proposal, whether or not to call a client or reach out to a prospect. And you can learn so much by asking the questions the right way. This is something that takes time. Like I said, I went to coaching school just to learn about open-ended questions and I still struggled with it. And I've done many, many, many podcast interviews which have helped me with that. And that's another thing you could do. Interview people. You know, unofficially, go out to lunch with a supervisor, get on a virtual call and ask some questions. Say, hey, I want to pick your brain about your career path. I think it'd be helpful for me. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope it informs the way that you ask questions in the future and the way that you gather information that can help you, your team, and your company succeed. We put out videos weekly here on our YouTube channel with a focus of helping engineers become better managers and leaders. So I ask you, please subscribe to the channel here so we can stay in touch and I'll see you next week.